Okay. But here we are at Jay's boat. Jay, come tell us about your boat. Well, it's a boat. That's for sure. Oh, really? What kind yeah, of I know, right? So it's a, it's a steamship, obviously. Uh, but I used... It's got paddle wheels, which I think was cool. I've never actually thought about this before, but I decided to go, go for it. And I made a ship with wheels, and it looks cool. Yeah, it does look really cool, actually. I, mean, I imagine you know, like, all the specifics and how it works on that. No, it's <laughs> Minecraft. You don't need that. <laughs> oh, fair enough. But no, I... If I was going to have paddle wheels, I had to make a specific engine because, look, I do research for all of my ships. I got to figure out what they're all about. Oh, and, yeah. of course, it's a passenger liner, so it's got to have all the nice luxur luxuriousness of what people want. Yeah. But because I have paddle wheels, I decided to put a large engine in there. And it's actually the first engine that you can actually go and see. I made another ship that doesn't have that. Oh? Why no. not? It's too small. <laughs> yeah, true. Too much of a baby. I couldn't fit it in. But this is... I designed um, an engine from looking at a few videos. And we got we got the pistons here. Oh, yeah. And and the, the pipes where the steam is put... is travels through. And we have the support... Supporting beams and... And, and the, the axles... And then the large, st uh, what's it called? This thing that turns the, <laughs> the wheels. Yeah, the, like motor or whatever. The motor. No, it's it's the uh, that would be the axle that I was. Uh, ah, okay. These are the coupler coupling rods, probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. Last time I checked, you know. Yeah, in theory. And of course, we have a, a not complicated, overcomplicated system of levers that may or may not do anything. <laughs> And then we have the tele we have the telegraph for Oh yeah. Which there's one on the bridge, but we'll come check that out later. And then oh of course we have to have coal. True, true, we need fuel we source. Coal. And then we already this is the boiler room. We need to look through us. Ooh. Yes. Burn the coal to create the steam. It's very complicated. Yeah, you guys spilled some coal on the floor too. Same for. Yes. Well, I mean, you can't have it too pristine. Sure, sure. And then more coal because you can't, you can never not have enough coal. And then of course you have the cargo, which totally has stuff in it. Yeah, and totally has a way inside. <laughs> oh yeah, that that's the special cargo. You're never gonna get in there. Yeah. I was talking about this stuff. Oh, I think my favorite stuff. barrels are probably these two. Oh yeah. Because they've been lord. So if you open it up, you can see they have a different name. Oh, they do. Short rail oil. <laughs> It's actually kind of nice. That's a good small touch she added there. Uh, not many people would see that, to be honest. Read it to Balloon. Oh, he did that, which is nice. Oh, that's nice of him. Of course, then we have reception where you sign in for your cabin room and they keep it all order. There's no book there because we're at... We're docked right now. And then, of course, we have the second layer to the cargo hold. Oh, yeah, sure. You can see inside. You can also pull down if you're not careful. Yeah, and then up there we have the cover, so this would be moved and stuff would be lowered down. Yeah, true. Sure. And anchor room, which totally makes sense. What are you talking about? Sure, yeah, sure. <laughs> actually, I don't know how to actually design an anchor room, so. <laughs> Aw, it's okay. I added some chains, and there you go. I mean, we, we knew where it was when we saw it. Exactly. Now, here's the dining room. Ooh. Very fancy. Is that an onboard kitchen? Uh, maybe. No, there isn't. It's actually all stored away. <laughs> yeah, dry. it's all packaged food, I guess. All packaged food, yes. And then we have the lounge slash smoking room. Um, I need to act add another lantern in here, but I'll do that later. It's too dark. Why is there a to Yeah, this place, I never even added the lanterns. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. And finally exploring, and I realized I messed up some stuff. Well, this is good. At least we get to see, like, your whole process and stuff. Uh, and then we, of course, we have three masts, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, I added three because it would look cool. That's why. <laughs> and sure. historically, these masts would hold sails, but during the time when they started transitioning to steam, they started removing the sails. But ships would still have a bunch of masts. Yeah. For, for different reasons. 
course, there needs to be a lantern in here. Oh too, yeah, what well, flags are up there, by the way? Flags? The viewers at home. For the viewers. <laughs> oh, wait, well, we have the company flag on the back um, mast here. Oh yeah, I see. Then, of course, we have the Vulpirium flag here. Because yeah. it comes from the Vulpirium. Uh, then we have a, a orange flag because foxes. Okay, um, sure. And then in the front here, we have another Vulpirium flag because this ship uh, goes between different Vulpirium ports. Oh, so I see. It makes sense. The front flag shows what where where you're going next. Yeah. At least this funnel over here looks a little bit fox card, which I like. Yeah, the orange, white, black. I did that yeah. on purpose. It's the company colors. If you see a steamship with this, orange, white, black, you know it's mine. It's basically, that's how that works. True, true. Uh, just for people curious, you're not actually a fox person, are you? Yeah, even though no, you're from I'm the Volperium. You're like, uh, I don't if we're gonna go into, if we're gonna go into specifics lore-wise, yeah. I'm some, I don't remember. Wait. Oh yeah, I remember now. I'm some sort of uh, wolf creature thing that is dying off. Um, oh, it's a subspecies. Uh, yeah, of course, it's... now we have we have cabins here. Yeah, you're a vol lichen, not a vol like it's normal vol person. Yes. Orange beds. That's, oh yeah. That's true. But yeah, we have orange beds. That was Akitsu's idea. Uh, then we have the slightly more fancier cabins. Yeah, not bunk beds this time. Actual no normal beds. beds. Normal beds. I and four too. cabins. <laughs> Only four. Which is not a lot, surprisingly. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we in the back here, because I ran out of ideas, we have a fluid tanks here. Where, you know, we can fill it up with any kind of liquid. Oh, God. I honestly hate to imagine <laughs> Yeah, and then we have the, the back side of the, the pistons where you can do maintenance. Oh, it actually opens. That's cute. Uh huh. You can get now, people stuck oh. inside there. I know, now it won't close. Oh, yeah, the TPS is too low for that, but you know. Gosh darn it. Whatever. Even there was liquid some... in there. More Before buttons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta some. So what's it like oh. being the uh, boat master of the Volperium? I am superior than all of my, uh, everyone else. Everyone else is less superior than I am because I do things that they don't do. Uh, this, wait, no, this stuff, this was supposed to, this is the cabin, this is the crew cabins down here. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, I just haven't added all the beds, this place would be full of beds, but that's a lot of beds and that's a lot of wool and that's a lot of work. Um, then we have the, the captain's cabin. Ooh, the captain's quarters. Hell yes. Yeah. He's got a red fair. bed instead of an orange one. Exactly. Very official. He's official. Officially a captain. <laughs> uh, of course, then up here we got some lifeboats. Because safety. I blame Dusky for this because he won't leave me alone about the one accident that killed a single person. But actually, it wasn't really... Whatever, yeah. it's... We've, you I have think to, we've seen something about that before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was confirmed. To, it was accidental, okay? Story. It was accidental. You have to know the full story, but and I, have, I finished my book, so you should read that. Oh, yeah. Um, and of course, we have the bridge. It's open to the air, so anyone who's up here will get rained on. Oh, yeah. If people are wondering why it's lights off in the distance, it's because there's a Volpinium anniversary going on later today. So, why is it thousand of them? Yeah. Then, of course, we have our navigation lights. Green, red on their sides. Used for nighttime navigation. Oh, I see. Yeah, it allows other ships to see what's going on. Um, then, of course, we have another telegraph, which connects down to the one in the engine room. It does loop back. Nice. Yes. Off in the distance, um, we can see St. Nuncio's. <laughs> Hell yeah. You can see a lot of yeah, cool uh, stuff, and the whole Tilda Vool back there. It's pretty cool. You get a lot of cool shots from the ship. Then, of course, up here we have 
the paddle wheel covering. There's actually a proper way to get up here, but we went the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, I saw how they have to. Uh, then we have maintenance hatch. Don't oh. fall down, you will never be able to come out. Oh. Uh, so that those lead down to the wheels. Oh, uh, both on each side, and then of course we have a window into the engine room. Oh, that's nice. Because you always need natural light. True, true. It should always be natural light. Yes. Um, but no, I think that's the bulk of it, really. Oh, yeah. You have any of final thoughts for the people at home? No. My mind is like a steel trap. You will not take my secrets. Oh, I see. Well, here we have it, folks. This is um, the Steamer Paddle Boat by Jay. Awesome Jay. In game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little boat tour. Honestly, Jay's boats astound me every time I see him. They're probably one of the best things I've seen in Minecraft in terms of like technical ability. He does do a lot of research in his um, boat builds, <laughs> despite how it seemed in the video, possibly. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.